Like if you were, imagine you're somewhere, somewhere like in a barn. <laughs> you know, you do that? But not just any old barn, not a barn in uh, Dexter, Michigan, but a barn on Mount Manassas. Because you are the muses. Now there were nine muses, I think, in ancient Greece, so we should be doing better than that, sure. We've got about 16 muses here, so that should be uh, at least 75% uh, more efficient. And um, you, the muses, are going to help me with some ideas for so let's have some ideas for okay. Okay. Oh, well you might have a rather voracious theme about why a barn is a good place to look for. Uh, sure. Okay, so yes, um Julia's going to come up to write down all these ideas. So I'll be I'll be rubbing them off the board once we've uh, once we've chosen our first uh, topic, but they will keep over these ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I wrote my little poem about that in Kentucky. <laughs> it's a big sort of topic, but it does, does a feel of some. Okay, so a few more ideas. Arrival. Arrival, yeah. And by everything, I mean both 
check in the dictionary in the grammar book that your Latin is correct and that particularly your quantities are correct, and also check everything in terms of looking over your draft line at the beginning and end of every single word to check that you've got, you haven't got elisions where you don't want them, you do have them where you do want them, and this business about um, lengthening syllables by the two consonant rule at the end of the word, but that's worth me correctly, because that is uh, an endless possibility for messy luck. So, um, and a bit like, everybody always does it, so um, don't worry when you do it, but check and uh, try and stop these things for yourself before you check anybody else. Is the idea. Okay, so what are we going to say about the barn as a project? Maybe once. Well, there's gaps all through that barn. Yeah, right, in, in, through which inspiration could come, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so um, gaps. What, what sort of words would we be using for gaps? Yeah, Rima. And that's a long line, I'm sure, isn't it? I mean, but we're, 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 as I say these things, perhaps somebody could, could check and. Uh, uh, but I'm not sure, but. Rima, uh, Ironman. Yeah, good, okay. Um, there's another one for Ironman, isn't there? Yeah. Um, that's what I think it's going to be, is that? Well, you can check out. Is that a short term or maybe? Long term. Short term. Short term. Okay, um, well, I probably do work for gaps. Um, so we might talk about gaps. Are there other things we want to talk about? Uh, well, you know, pretty tall, isn't it? Um, lots of space. Um, open doors. Um, um, Words for smell, can't we? Good uh, odor. Um, anything about its particular person appropriateness? Well, it's sort of animals and corn and dry up. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so animals, 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 and corn. Um, it is, it's porium neutral, is it? Basically, or is it? Porium neutral. Yeah, okay. And that, uh, well, there is only one way we can. If we want to use porium, there's only one way it's going to fit in a dactylic uh, example. Don't forget, of course, the elision of um, words ND in, in M. And um, a word like that, either it elides or it's followed by a consonant. If it's followed by a consonant, the two consonant rule applies, so the M does stand as a consonant for that purpose. So there's no way you're going to get that in an hexameter without a rather ugly elision, which indeed people do. But I, I suggest we avoid, we, we can certainly, certainly let's have additions, but let's not have really sort of unpleasant ones that are just there to, there to force something in, basically. So without a, for, a rather forced addition, you're, not, you're never going to get that word in the singular in an example. However, the, the answer to that is to make it further. Um, okay, this is only one barn we but we can talk generally about the whole, the whole barn business, can't we? Or we can use plural for singular. So if one of you is worried, then. Or in plural, I think is the answer. Um, I doubt that you could use this plainly uh, made up word. I mean, and, and, um, grammarian, was it? Um, I think so, we just for uh, purposes of, of uh, checking our quantities, I mean, obviously, I U M the same is going to apply. So that word is, is obviously only viable for us in the plural. Um, and the aria ending is, you know, like that. Is, is that the Isn't the U M? Isn't the U M ending longer short? By nature it's short, but in practice you can never have it short because yeah, it's going to be followed be, by something. It could be followed by a, a, a word that starts with vowel. Then it elides. Oh, oh yes. yes. So it's, it's sort of those catch 22s. Yeah. 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 In theory it's short, but you're never going to see it short in its natural environment. It's like one of these, uh, I don't know what, it's a, yeah, it's a, no, no, exactly. It's a dangerous species that you can only have in captivity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are our words that are so easy. So you've got to therefore construct a basic sentence saying something like what we want to say without either an anonymous or in the accusative. So what are we going to say then in the first line? So we've got chosen a subject or an object if you like. Um, we've got a word for gaps, so maybe we do want to start about gaps. Um, what verbs would make sense? Oh, 
Walking was from Usawa. Well, um, the, the open holds to the, to the voices of the users. Nice idea, except box. Vital to Google, this idea does for them. And he said, what works? Both of us, those are um, to the voices of the readers, which they always fix it sense. Um, yeah, watch out, oh, the two constant rule. <coughs> we need that, to use the word book of us, we absolutely must keep that as short. Oh, okay. But, yeah, what is it going to to the voice? Yeah, I mean, both be. Yeah, that will do, sure. Absolutely, yeah. And you can have those, the words Muzara and Bogey, you can have an either order. I, I would tend probably to put them in, in the order of Muzara and Bogey simply for the reason I mentioned of um, not having the words and the, 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 the feet lines always coinciding too much, so Muzara and Bogey. Yeah. Both you lose are, but it's pretty, pretty minor difference. So yeah, that, that would be a viable first half, so yeah. And that would be without the tenebos, of course. So well, we, we made our first <coughs> alternative part of the other way around, so that's actually two alternatives for that. Either both you lose are and lose are, both you. Either way, we master an area by then. That makes an example. Excellent. Okay, so we've done a line already. But let's consider.